Hey guys, Scott on Football here, back with another video. And today's video is wall, is some Wolves squad news as we've signed a new player, Matias Nunes, who has signed from Sporting Lisbon, a Portuguese um, a club in Portugal, for f the possibly well, the se uh, first or second best team in Portugal, over probably Ben. Be Benfica or Porto or them. Well, they're going to be at the well, one of the best club in Portugal. A 42 million, a record transfer fee with a five year deal. He's also, he has also got a one year up. So I imagine in the case of where go, we go down, we won't, we won't go down, but we won't go down. But um, that's probably just the option, isn't it? He's 23 years old. His position is a midfielder called dynamic midfielder. He's a very exciting midfielder. He's born in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, but he but he's but his nationality is Portuguese though. And his most recent club that I just mentioned, Sporting Lisbon, the club in Portugal. So here, Wolves complete record Nunes move that I've just said, 42 million record transfer fee. Wolves will complete the sign of highly rated Portugal International Matias Nunes from Sporting Lisbon for a club record fee. The 23 year old um, dynamic midfielder who was born in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, has penned, penned a five year deal at Monia with a one year option bringing an end to his successful stint in Lisbon that was just mentioned about. He's an exciting talent. Nunes didn't blossom until later in his youth career, having, having moved to Portugal at the end of at the end of 12. He must be a new team there. But the midfielder is still playing local football in the Lisbon Football Association until he was 19 before signing for Estrolli in the summer of 2018. Estrolli Estro 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 is a club that was signed um, what, signed Triquinio from. Estrolli for Triquinio is signed him from. Where he joined the side including new Wolves teammate Totai Gomez that we currently got at Wolves now. He's on, a, he's on loan at Grasshoppers last season and we've brought him back on a new deal. Impressing at Sporting in the Taka D League group stages, Nunes was brought to the club shortly after spending time in the under 23 team before experiencing his breakthrough season in 2020 to 2021. During that campaign, Nunes earned a regular place in the Sporting starting lineup and helped the team to a Portuguese double, scoring the pre Primamara Liga, that's our Liga thing, and Taka D Liga title, which is our our competition is known in the FA Cup, so I'm asking that's their type of cup competition that they have there. Uh, he scored three goals and providing three assists. Although Sporting were unable to make it successive league titles, the following season on a personal level, Nunes had a campaign to remember with his goals and assists in green and white, seeing in that's the colours of Sporting Lisbon. Seeing in name from Maria, um, League and Midfielder of the Month in both October and November 2021, before earning a place in the league's Team of the Year for 2021 to 2022. On the international stage, Nunes was first called up to represent Brazil, the country of his birth in Rio de Janeiro, on his 23rd birthday last year, but choosing to turn down the call, he instead opted to play for Portugal. What's he going to ask them to do? Apparently, the one rule is that we have a Declan Rice ones. Apparently, if you don't play in any type of international game in your country, it, you, you're allowed to swap over your nace and you are. Like, Matty Cass from Aston Villa, because he knows he's never going to get in the England team. He swapped it over to um, Poland. And I think he has some. I think he's based on members of the family, where what background they come from, or stuff like that. Meet the criteria. Declan Rice is Irish. Was Irish to play the national team, but he swapped his nation to English. So he didn't play a game for them, basically, which you're allowed to do. Some players don't understand it, but the thing is, I have also understand, but you're never going to get in the national team there in a different country. Matty Cuff is never going to get ahead of Arnold, Trippier, Reese James, and Kyle Walker. It says Nunes won. The first of his eight international caps in October 2021 started a 3 0 friendly win over Qatar, where he made his debut alongside Giamatino, Nelson Tomato, and Gonzalo 
get a surprise that the Mendes and Ruben Neves there. We have got 10 Portuguese players, so a lot of the Portuguese players, you're pretty well known to you, a lot of the players that play for us, because they all play together in Portugal national side. A regular starter in the national team, Bof Fernando Santos, during the last 12 months, Nuno scored his first international goal against Turkey in March, helping his country to a place in the 2022 World Cup this winter. They're always qualifying, they're always up there to win it, they are. The last time the World Cup, France, France won it, and the U, last Euros, Italy won it. But they have won, but Portugal, Portugal have won the Nations League, won the Nations League, and they have also uh, won, um, they have also won the Euros before they have. This is what Jeff, Chairman Jeff Sai said, has to say. We are very happy to welcome Matthias to Wolves and delighted to add another exciting young talent to Bruno's squad. Matthias had had two excellent seasons at the top level in Portugal sporting and is widely regarded as one of the most exciting prospects in world football. So we are thrilled that he has chosen the Premier League and Wolves are the next step in what we hope will be a fantastic career. So now he now linking up with several of his international teammates. The midfielder arrived at Compton Park on Wednesday. That's our training ground. And he completed his medical. He will join Bruno Lars squad ahead of the Premier League fixture with Tottenham Hotspur this Sunday. It's a weekend against Spurs. 12.30 kickoff with the way at Tottenham. I don't think he will start, but he'll hopefully be on the bench at least. Personally, I was getting frustrated at the start of the season before the season started. The lack of signing for bringing in. But now, I take that all the way. I gave them a lot of time at the time, and I did give them time, but I lost. I got frustrated with them. But now, fair play for getting these signings in. He can hang on a permanent. Nathan Collins from Burnley. And um, we got got Consalo Geddes from um, Benfica. And we've also got... Um, now we've got Matias Nunes from um, Lisbon. Another Portuguese player sporting Lisbon. But I'm still disappointed with that Godi go like. Well, he's still our, he's still our player, but he's on loan at Everton. At the end of the season, he comes back to us at the end of the season. Or this season, he can come back if um, it doesn't work out for him. Because of course, um, he, he's been brought. Frank Lampard's a great admirer of the lad, and plus, um, and plus, plus that there were sort of midfielders due to Ben Godfrey injured for three months. Now after that. Horrible injury against Chelsea and uh, Yerry Mean is now out, so he wanted him. The other day, it's the back five. He can't play in the back four, it doesn't work out for him, or he can play in the back three. But go, trying to go into back four, I don't think back four suits our style of football, to be honest. I like back three or back four. That, I think, suits us better. So I think I'll wrap this video up now. So thank you for, uh, thank you for watching it today, guys. Do If you are new around here, do get a like and do subscribe to the channel. Give Floyd a mention here about Matt's Day vlogs. I'm no longer going to be doing it anymore. If basically over the year I've had exams, I've been under a lot of pressure. I just wanted to enjoy the moment a little bit more instead of holding the camera in my hand, basically. I will still be doing my YouTube channel on my Instagram feed and Facebook page. I will be posting things on Staff of Brain just still. That's not going to change, but I just think I made the right call. And I just... Um, it is disappointing for everyone who liked my Matt's Day vlogs, and I did a good job last year, but I just feel like um, college in September, I've got a few more things to focus on. But I'm still going to be running this channel, and I'm still going to be doing all the stuff around you posting on my Instagram account, my Twitter account, a, a quote tweets after the game, and also um, my Instagram feed, Facebook, like I just said. So thank you for watching today, guys. Do give a like, do subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Hope you've all enjoyed the video today, guys. Have a have a good one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.